Oh, hi. We're the Feng Shui Police. This is our exclusive interview with B-Side Magazine. like Sigmund Freud and the Dirty Dozen and we had like all these like insane band names. What the band we want to do? We want to do the Beatles. Beatles. Memes Ahoy, was that? Memes Ahoy. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's a ton of them. And then I just chose Feng Shui please because it's the perhaps the least ridiculous <laughs> on the list. You know, some don't work when we put it to the band arrangement. Yeah. So then, even like a subset of that. So it's really just a matter of writing like a lot shit ton of songs. songs and then picking the ones that work out. Well, I broke up with my girlfriend. Oh, Stacy? Yeah. I broke up with Stacy. Why'd you break up with Stacy, Dad? Well, she was crazy. Crazy? Crazy how? Well, well she tore up all my photos with my cat. I took a gap year and then came in freshman year and then like on the third day I went to like the concentration fair or whatever and then Evan was just there and he's like, uh, yeah, I oh I transferred here and I was like, what? <laughs> and then from there we started playing music for a while and um, I had started writing songs for the, uh, from a gap year and I started to accumulate more over the course of freshman year and then Harris and I met uh, Yeah, so um so I guess Dash and Evan had a good thing going, you know, but they're stagnating <laughs> and kind of need to import someone get a fresh look at, you know, mm -hmm. music. But how we met was me and Dash were both in the same dorm and uh, I think Dash was above me and I could do, hear him through the roof and he could I guess, hear me through the, you know, the floor. And I guess, you know, one day I passed across and I'm like, hey, you know, we like your music, we should jam sometime. So, you know, we got together and we jammed. And <laughs> Um, it's, it's pretty true, yeah. Yeah, I was introduced to Evan as well. Yeah, yeah I think it, it, yeah. yeah. it, it clicked pretty well from early on. I think, yeah. Something that's um, makes money <laughs> occasionally, <laughs> um, and it's very like self-satisfying, very self-fulfilling. It's important to express yourself and to uh, to to make art. I mean, that's what um, that's what makes life interesting. I mean, I'd say I mean, it's like it's like sort of hurts to have like songs you had and that you know like work in a full band arrangement and to not put them out in the band arrangement. I'd say it's sort of a painful thing. Um, so in a lot of ways, it's you know, trying to relieve that pain. Um, but also, it's just, I mean, it's so satisfying. There's like certain parts of our songs where, you know, we can play in lines, people sort of sing along, and I mean, it's just in, the idea that anyone would connect with a song, uh, and just as something I, I wrote, is incredibly satisfying in, in a way that, like, I find fulfilling in ways that school is just not even close to. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's just like I don't know, I don't know what it is exactly, but it's 
I don't know. It makes me makes me feel like I'm doing something that's uh, important. So I'm gonna remember, I guess, when I'm older. Yeah. One more song. One more song. Put your symbol back. One more song. One more song. All right, we'll do another song. <laughs> Do you, what, what, song, what song do you want to do first? Um, without you. You want to do without you? Let's do without you. Without you? Yeah. Evan? Yeah. Uh, <laughs>